just a recap of what we saw till now. In any script, if we know that there will be huge movement on one side, but don't know which side, we can use strangle, long strangle. If we predict that the script will stay range bound, we can use short strangle to profit from this low volatility, isn't it? If you haven't seen the long and short strangle option strategies videos, please give time to them. Links can be found in the description box below or the i symbol above. In this video, let us discuss about other two strategies which can be used in the same situations, long straddle and short straddle. Hi viewers, namaste. Welcome to the world of pay trading. First, long straddle. What is the aim of long strangle again? To capture the abrupt move either side. We buy one out of the money call option and one out of the money put option and wait for the big movement in the price which goes out of the break even point and earn us money. As both are out of the money options, we require less capital. We get these two at less prices as they consist only extrinsic values. But in the long straddle, we buy both at the money call option and at the money put option. This is the only change between long strangle and long straddle, the at the money and out of the monies. If there is huge movement in one side, there will be loss in the premium of one trade which is covered by the profit of another trade. But compared to strangle, it needs more capital that is margin, right? As at the money contracts will be more expensive than out of the money. If at any point you are not getting what we are discussing, I think it will be wise if you brush up with basics in options market. Please watch our FNO playlist in your leisure time. We have designed the playlist very well. Also, please subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon. More videos are awaiting in future. Also, please like the video and share with your known ones. Okay, back to our topic. To compare both long strangle and straddle, huge capital is required for straddle than strangle. But comparatively, low movement is enough in long straddle than long strangle, isn't it? Let us see with an example. Let us take Tank Nifty. We take a contract which expires at 30th July, monthly expiry for July. Okay, let us see the at the money contracts. Last traded price is 21,506 and so 21,500 will be at the money. If we buy both the at the money contracts of both put and call, how much premium we have to pay? For the call option, we need to pay 11,052.95 rupees per lot. And for the put option, we need to pay 1,210.15 rupees per lot. So the total margin required for this strategy is 2,363.1 rupees into 25. So the total margin required is 2,363.1 into 25, approximately 59,077 rupees per lot. Okay, why did we trade this? Because we predicted a huge movement, but don't know which side like in case of events, results or something like that. Now, let us see break even points. Where? It comes from options payoff diagrams, right? For this strategy, let us draw a diagram for option payoff. This is call options payoff diagram of 21,500 bought at 1152.95. If price goes below 21,500 at expiry, we incur losses and the loss is 25 times 1152.92 per lot. Where is the break-even point? Strike price plus premium that is 22,652.95 and the profit of 25 times each point from there. Now let us draw one more payoff diagram for 21,500 put option bought at 1210.85. If price closes above 21,500 Whole premium is loss 25 times per lot and the break even 20,289.85 strike price minus premium. If price falls more than this then we will get profit 25 times with each point. Now let us see the combined payoff diagram of both these trades. If price closes at 21,500 at expiry loss is both the premiums that is 2,363.1 times 25 rupees per lot. If price closes at 20,289.85, this is the break even for put option, but the call option is at loss, right? So the loss is 1152.95 rupees. And where is the break even in the downside? The price should fall to the sum of both premiums from 21,500, the strike price we have selected. So 
21,500 minus 2,363. 19,142.9 is the break even point at the downside. From here, how much may be the price fall? We will get 25 rupees per lot with every point fall, isn't it? Okay, where is the break even point upside? 21,500 plus 2,363.1. So, 23,869 is the break even point upside. From here, how much may be the price rise? We will profit 25 rupees per lot with each point move upside. I need everyone to be confident with drawing and reading this payoff diagram. Later, you can design any strategy which you like. Now, short straddle. What we did in short triangle is we sold one out of the money call option and one out of the money put option. If at expiry, the price stays on the range we thought, both contracts expire worthless and so we will profit with both the premiums. In short triangle strategy, we get low premium as both are out of the money options. But the range we get will be more, right? So our safety will be more. But in short straddle, we sell one at the money call option and also sell one at the money put option. So for highest profit in this strategy, the price must close at the same price we have shorted, which is not always possible, right? There won't be that much range that of strangle, but we will be having some range, which we can see in the payoff diagram. Okay, in the same example, at the same time, if we think that there will be no volatility, let us see the payoff diagram for shorting both at the money option. This is call short payoff diagram and this is put short payoff diagram. The combined is this. Maximum profits comes here, right? If price expires at exactly 21,500. Okay, the range which I told before is this. On the downside, we are in profits till the price falls 21,500 minus 2,363.1, which is the combined premium we got. So, Till 19,142.9, we will be in profits. From there, full risk to the seller. With every point fall, 25 rupees loss per lot. For the upside, we will be in profits till 21,500 plus 2,361.1. From there, how much may be the price rise, we will be exposed to that much loss 25 times per lot for each point. The margin will be blocked at the trade itself, right? And so, at settlement, the loss is deducted from your margin held and the remaining amount will be sent back. Let us see the margin required using the margin calculator in fire securities. For these two shots, we need 2.5 lakh rupees individually. But as we combine these two trades, the margin required is just 1 lakh 37,000 change. Okay, you may have understood that there is lot of risk involved in this strategy. But I am sure you got why and when we use this strategy, right? If there is an unnecessary hype in the script, the options premium will be high as IV is huge. If you think this IV will fall, you can use short strangle or short straddle based on your expectations of the range. In short strangle, we get more range but less profits. In short straddle, we get more profits but our range will be less. Anyways, the unlimited risk of the sellers can be addressed by another strategy called Iron Condor, which we'll see in the next video. This viewers is all about long and short straddle. Let us meet in the next video. Please like, share, subscribe and comment to our video. If you are looking for a good stockbroker, we recommend Fire Securities, the best rising discount stockbroker as of now. World class best trading platforms and best services, zero investment zone, less brokerages, 30 day challenge, failureless services, and so on. We are having more advantages in Fire Securities. To open your trading and DMAT account in Fire Securities, please click on the link in the description box below and submit your details in the page open. Our Fire team will contact you and open your account. Have a happy, safe, and profitable trading. Jai Hind.